Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fled to America to avoid racism. <laughs> I have some bad news. It's not that I don't believe her. It's that I'm a little bit salty that I have to side with a failed actress from Canoga Park. That's a joke for the homies back at the 818 represent. Let's be real. The royal couple didn't want their kid to grow up around pedo Prince Andrew because a black ginger is the last color of the rainbow that he hasn't fucked yet. Ooh, but let's not bring that up or Megan might get diana -ed. But look, Oprah hung out with Harvey Weinstein and the rest of the pedo posse. She knows. But let's shift the conversation back to rich people being oppressed. I love how Oprah pretended to be shocked that rich white people are racist. Spectacular performance. You almost had me there. People in the royal family are more worried about a sliver of African genes than inbred recessive ginger genes. What happened to marriage for political alliances anyway? The queen's poor old heart is under a lot of stress right now, with her husband being in the hospital on top of all of this scandal. But I think she can take it, because most reptiles have three hearts. Lake Victoria is named after a queen that colonized half of Africa and never saw it. I mean, what did you think was going to happen when you rape and pillage an entire continent for 400 years? And for what? Spices? The British don't even use spices. They put beans on fucking toast. Ugh. Your food sucks. You go ass to mouth. And that's why you have bad teeth. There's a conspiracy theory that Prince Charles, who is next in line for the throne, is actually a vampire. This is based on him being related to Vlad the Impaler, which inspired Bram Stoker's Dracula. Anybody else have Vampire King on the Apocalypse Bingo? But even when we get our Vampire King, he won't even make it to his first Jubilee, which is silver. And we all know vampires are weak against that shit. But it doesn't even matter if Meghan Markle spills more beans. The British are just going to put it on toast and eat it. <laughs>